Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. And we are among the red spider lilies, guys, in the field of the Equinox Flower. In the last episode, we were able to take out some more Mongol bases and had a pretty epic duel here um, to complete the episode. Now we have two undiscovered locations, one over here, which I believe is a fox den, and whatever this is. So we're going to go ahead and check out what these are. And then we're going to go ahead and explore the rest of this area. We have got Lady Sanjo's Bridge and Lady Sanjo's Landing. So, very important lady. And we've got one of our main quests here. we got Lady Masako. And a wealthy man has all he needs. And it looks like this trails off into a little section. So, lots to explore. So, if we look over here, yep, that is definitely a fox den. Go ahead and summon Nobu. And get our charm to become even more powerful. We also have another shrine to check out. As well, because we saw that along the way. Got some Mongols off to the side. Hey, buddy. Where are we off to? Let's go on an adventure, you and I. I assume that's probably the shrine right there. One of those big stone... Those stone gates. Might be a significant clue. And that looks like a Mongol encampment right up here. Right where the fox is taking us. No, it could just be next door neighbors. Oh. Okay, looks like they just set up and had no idea what they were setting up next to. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Alright, the Inari Shrine has been honored. Sunrise is coming up. God, that's gorgeous. Speaking of gorgeous. Good boy. Or girl. Be safe now. Okay. So we've got that. We've got another undiscovered location right there. We need to go ahead and check. Actually, let's go ahead and switch back to our traveler's attire. We're a nice shade of yellow now. I just think matches the moss covered hat quite a bit. This might be another haiku spot, maybe? Oh no, this is the... This is the shrine. A scarlet rock shrine. Hmm, okay. This looks to be another area that's kind of walled off, and we're going to have to find the right way to traverse it. There we go. Man, it seems so simple. Not anything but. See? We could just, if we could just use the Taka's hook, we could just climb up right there and be done with it. So let's keep our eyes peeled for areas that we can climb. Or hook, either way. Let Jin catch his breath. He has been doing a lot of running. Okay, I see... I see a grapple point up there. That's kind of progress. Maybe we need to climb up one of these. Ah, here we go. The proper entrance. 
But I guess the question now is, are we going to be able... See, we can't actually jump right here. Oh, maybe we can. Let me... Oh, maybe not. Aha! There's a rock we can use. The supplies were a clue. And here's our way in. I think we're going to be doing some Spider-Man style swinging here. That's fine too. I'm okay with this. Now what? <laughs> I guess right here. Grab that. Here's the path. See, I don't know if those branches break, and I don't even want to test that hypothesis. Want to keep on moving. Like, don't even hesitate. And here's our way up the ramp. Who, if we had missed that, I would have been a sad panda. And this is gorgeous. Every shrine that we run into seems to be prettier than the one before. And I don't want to risk them being there being a steep drop. I just remember that one shrine we went to, and then there was that body. There's definitely a story to be told there. Alright. Oh, this was a perfect time of day for this. Love it. So what's our reward? The charm of Sukuyomi. Charm of the Kami of the Moon. Assassinated enemies drop additional ammo or supplies. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Actually, I think I, that would be a charm. I mean, it would make sense, because considering we do tend to be rather subtle with uh, the Traveler's attire, sometimes. Ronin attire? What did I have set for that? Killing enemies. Ghost weapons. Reduces all damage by an amount. I think I had this one set, too. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. And we got a longbow upgrade available. Neat. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Get ourselves flowers, and we don't really necessarily need to climb down. And a nice forward roll. Good stuff. Okay, Nobu. Let's continue our uh, explorations here. Maybe we'll get to try out this charm as well. And if we need to, we can return to the village and... Oops, wrong way. We can return to the village and get that longbow upgrade. Because I think we just needed the one. And then I think all of our weapons will be maxed out except for the uh, the actual sword of the clan. 
I bet it's a bamboo strike. Normally we see those here, these inns. I see a lot of Mongols hanging out at. Okay, you hang tight there, Nobu. We're going to see what happens here. So what is this? The Moss Light. Oh. It is a fortification. Don't mind if I do. And we got vibration, so... There is good loot to be had. Oh, down in one. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. We've got some straw hat Ronin in there. So do we have... Those are fire arrows. Got a nice explosive arrow. Right here for you. Oop. So let's go ahead and just shoot this guy. See what happens. I mean, I'll take it, like, all day. Don't run! Don't run! <laughs> oh, he's got a fire sword. Okay. Sorry, Dougie. It's stuff to do. Okay, we are not in our combat. As the music gets sufficiently epic. Okay. Back to the half bow. I see ya. Go around here, buddy. You can blow that horn all you want to, sir. I think everyone's dead now. Maybe. Oh, wait. Doggies are still... ...are still on the prowl. Uh-huh. Okay, you went right back to practicing. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. And down you go. How many more? Oh wow, we had a full house. Well, I don't want to kill any more of the doggies, so... Let's see what we can do. Whoops. I was hoping we were going to be able to... Oh, it's a water wheel. That's awesome. Here's our way in. So I get supplies? Supplies! Two arrows. Oh, yeah, we do. That's pleasant. Nice. 
Now I just want to resist the urge to say supplies. <laughs> UHF reference. Okay, challenge remaining enemies. We got our gear back, which is nice. And looks like our last victim is right here. So let's just quietly come down here. Can we get one of those cool... Sick. I'll take it. Those eight pieces of steel. Okay. This inn has been uh, liberated. New coat of paint. A little bit of... Uh, a little cleaning, a little mopping, maybe a delousing, and uh, this place should be ready to get back to business. Okay, something. There's some sort of special oh, predator hides. Thank you. What do we got up close? Aha! Mongol artifact. What do we got? The Mongol bomb. The rise of the Mongol Empire has facilitated the advancement of gunpowder technology. An example of this can be seen in the adoption of the Heaven Shaking Thunder Bomb, first developed in the 12th to 13th century China. This handheld bomb is made of cast iron and sports an adjustable fuse, allowing the wielder to alter the wick's length to match the distance to the target. Yeah, I think we've seen a we've seen a few of these. That's ironic that we were using explosive arrows over here. Okay, more iron has been acquired. I think we should be in good shape. I'm not seeing any more special items. Definitely want to grab all, all the iron we can, though. Just because, you know, weapons upgrades don't come cheap. And I guess that other dog decided to run away, which I am very happy about. Okay. Show me more of the map here. So we have the dual location there. Lady Sanjo's Landing, which I'm almost sure is probably going to be um, part of some quest. Now, if I recall correctly, La Lady Masako, the thief, seven of nine. So do we have like all of her quests here? The family man, six of nine. What's here? Five of nine, the fool. Okay, so the one that we need to take care of chronologically is right here. Maybe that's why it disappeared when we were running, um, doing all the legend stuff. That would definitely make sense. We got a new tale for Yuna. Okie doke. We are figuring it out. Here comes our noble steed. I heard the booms. I know you did, Nobu. So let's continue. Let's just go ahead and follow this road. I guess we'll deal with any uh, any patrols we find along the way. See what other trouble we can get into this episode. Looks like there's a candle up on top of this little hill. What is that? Oh, it's just a fire. So, this looks like a place where maybe they would Assault travelers along the road, but there's not a whole lot of oh, okay. We see hanging bodies Here in the marsh gruesome But what we've come to expect Got some buildings over here with a Rock outcropping Hello Like they were drying out some fish. Maybe doing making jerky or some such. Oh, 
They left all their supplies, though. Let's see if we can grab all these while still on the horse. Alright, cool. Now I guess we'll just hang along the... Yeah, let's just hang along the riverside here. That should take us right to where we need to go. Because I want to see what that little kind of inlet is that stretches out. You're in a lot of deer. Haven't seen our feathered friend this episode. Which is rare. And we've got some mongols here. I don't know if you guys are oppressing. You're probably oppressing. Tell you what, let's uh let's use the Kosako armor. We haven't done that in a bit. Oh, the doggy. I appreciate the dogs just hanging out, though. Don't make me do it. Oh, <laughs> bad dog. I didn't want to do that. I hope they'd be like, ooh, that would have sucked. Yeah, you guys just... Keep to your business. まだせてしまったな。助かりました。今一人で抜かれた際に捕まって。乗っ取りおったか。海辺に近く大津名と海木の部隊に兵糧も送りやすい。奴らは壁を破り、中の物を殺して回りました。敵は撃つ。お主は
All right, note to self, we need to start looking for some purple. Purple dyes. Mongol ship still out there in the distance. And the wealthy man has all he needs. I definitely think we should go ahead and hit that. But I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and ride past. We'll see how much more... Well, actually, no. Let's do this. I really want to test using the... Uh, the kunai. Against the hawks. Have to make sure we can actually do it, though. And... Yoink! Oh, I'm sorry, horsey. Oh, we were all about the animal slaughter that time. Uh, I hope you didn't feel anything. See, so yeah, Nobu averted his eyes. Good Nobu. Just smile and wave, boys. Try to be good about that, but accidents do happen. Okay, lots of stuff here. And we should be getting close to another armor upgrade here soon. And that is a large bear. And it seems that the quest that we need to go to is right over here next to said bear. Or actually, probably where that smoke is. So... Hmm. Tell you what, let's head back to Akashima Village. And see what we can do with that bow upgrade. Unfortunately, it's right here, so we shouldn't have too much of an issue. Sakai-sama, how do you think? Oh, it's Shino. This is the uh, lady whose father was killed by the quote-unquote kappas. Shino, you were born in the village. I was 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 born in the village. Okay, well, at least she was able to find a place. Okay, longbow. And there we go. 800 supplies. We've got bamboo, yew wood, and wax wood for days. And I think... Cool. And half bow... And Longbow are now fully upgraded. Will we see her again, though, Jin? Maybe if... Well, you know, there could be a legendary... I didn't even think about that. There could be a legendary bow for us to get. That'd be interesting. So how... Let's see how close we are to getting the upgrade to the Sakai Steel. Okay, we've, we've got iron. We just need supplies, steel, and we're, we're getting really close to having the steel. And three gold. Alright. Tonto's already upgraded. And let's just go ahead and get a full... a full inventory. Now, this, and basically once we get the sword and everything upgraded, it'll just be the other armor sets because I think we still have two to go. Traveler's attire is good. Gosako's armor needs silk and supplies. Ronin attire, silk and supplies. Tadayori's is maxed out. Samurai clan armor is maxed out. All right. Looks good to me. Alright guys, I think this is a good place to go ahead and end it for today. 
Um, in the next episode, we will um, fast travel back to this pillar of honor and we'll check out the wealthy man has all he needs quest. And then a message in fire, resume the tale. Um, we may go ahead and leave that one, but definitely check out uh, Lady Masako's tale because it's been a while since we've dealt with her. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. I'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.